Dream Cruise Roadshow is brought to you by Plymouth Oral and Facial Surgery, Doctors David Sturtz, Norman Betts, Jeffrey Wazalewski, Chad Betts, and Matthew Pinsky, with offices in Plymouth, Ann Arbor, Chelsea, and Ypsilanti. And by Lloyd and Morsine Royce, RF Connect, Leonard A. Kurshevsky, Neil Zelenko, Marjorie and Maxwell Jospi Foundation, Hanan Lease, and Sandy and Jim Danto. And welcome in street side to the corner of Nine Mile and Woodward in beautiful Ferndale, Michigan. This is the Dream Cruise Roadshow here on Detroit Public TV and worldwide at dptv.org. In addition to that, uh, up on the, uh, the website of antiquesroadshow.org. Our thanks uh, to that great uh, website and institution for carrying our feet as well. And thank you for being along with us. This is a celebration of the Motor City, not only our industry, uh, but our industriousness and how we love uh, everything about cruising, and the place to do that is on Woodward. Let me welcome in now our co-host of the program, our color commentator, automotive analyst, uh, but that's what we agreed to. I would just call him an automotive legend. Bob Lutz, thank you for being here. Hey, it's good to be here. Good to be here, Fred. Thanks. Well, you are a guy that's been all over the world, uh, and you come home and you see something like this. The Motor City really gets it right when it comes to classic cars. Oh, absolutely. I mean, this is the epicenter of uh, car love around the world. Well, we are uh, intending to look at... Uh, a number of cars, several dozen cars here yep. uh, along Nine Mile. Uh, and let's get it started. Our, our guy, uh, Eric Gorgeous, who's the, uh, the host of a, a Craftsman's Legacy on public television and PBS, and a, uh, a great man of the people interviewing all of our car owners uh, during this program. We're going to throw it to uh, Eric for the first car, uh, which is this 1960 Cadillac Eldorado. Eric, over to you. Beautiful car, man. Come back. I should have. So tell me about it. Yeah, exactly. well, uh, I, th I thought uh, it's been a long time in the works. Yeah. I uh, spent seven years looking for it. Kind of gave up on the fact that I was ever going to find it. My brother found it, and uh, I spent the next 12 years restoring it and uh, just having a lot of fun. Didn't want to over restore it uh, just so I could drive it and enjoy it to the Woodward Cruise. No, it's this and is beautiful, man. Now this is a '60. <laughs> Eldorado, Eldorado, right? Cadillac yes. Eldorado. Yes, it's the last year of the uh, Tri Power Cadillacs. All right. Uh, they built them in 58, 59, and 60. And uh, they built 1,285 of them. That's not a lot. That's not a lot. And 99 of them were with the factory bucket seats. Oh, okay. So yeah, it yeah, kinda, yeah. Kind of helps it get down. Yeah, this is pretty rare. Uh, if, <laughs> I guess. This is awesome. I really, I love the color. You know, you love the fins. You can't get rid of the fins, man, right? Oh, no. no. This is beautiful. <laughs> and you drive it regularly? Oh, yeah. Every chance I get, which has been maybe four or five times this year. But, right on. Uh, hopefully more here real soon. And how long have you owned it? Uh, about uh, 15 years I've had 15? it. 15? I bought it in 01. Yeah. All right. Yep. And it, you go through the entire car? Uh, pretty much. Uh, it's It's... I took took it all apart, nuts and bolts. I, I couldn't believe when I took it apart what I found. It was all there, but it just needed some TLC. Right on. Yeah. Where did it come from originally? Uh, Southern Illinois, I okay. was told. Yes, and uh, I found the car in Bloomfield. I went all over the country looking for it, and it's in my back, back, <laughs> back garden. Go figure. <laughs> That's how it always is, right? <laughs> you bet. <laughs> so what's your favorite part about the car? Uh, Why did you want a 60 Cadillac Eldorado? Well, my dad had one, and I always loved it. And I thought, well, one day, maybe, just maybe, I'll do the same. And yeah. my favorite part of it is her and I, We, when we do get out, we uh, enjoy it a lot. Oh, I have bet. a good time. I bet. And what do we got under the hood? Uh, it's a 390 uh, with a tri-power. Yep. Um, I updated the brakes. I put uh, factory uh, uh, or disc brakes on it rather okay and dual master cylinder and uh, it's it's new pretty much under the hood yeah. yeah it looks pretty good I bet you it cruises nice and it does <laughs> that's awesome that it does, yes. hey do you happen to know the the name of the color uh, yes it's called Pompeian uh, red Pompeian it's red. a factory color was it, it the yeah, and it is lacquer Okay. Uh, it's not the base clear. There's not much left on it. Believe me, it's almost uh, rubbed all off. So. <laughs> but we have we have a good time with it. So that was the original color for the car. Yes, the original factory color. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> all right, man. So Fred, well, what's next? 
All right, guys, uh, thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, Bob, now now you, this is the, the king of the fins, the 60 uh, Eldorado. You spent some time there at General Motors. This is a special, special car. Yeah, it started in 59, and uh, to many people, this was the epitome of Cadillac, the absolute high point in the brand with international acclaim and uh, not only supremely beautiful styling, but also a lot of technology, some of which may have been ahead of its time, like automatic headlight dimming, which sometimes worked and sometimes didn't. But the point is, uh, Cadillac at the time strove to make the car really better than anybody else's. Uh, the lines on it are absolutely gorgeous, and I particularly like this car because it's, uh, it's very original. It's complete, and nothing is overdone. Well, and when you think about those Cadillac models, that was always sort of a standout. I mean, you had the DeVille, uh, you had you know the sedans and the coupes, but this one was sort of like, I don't know, the, the party well, car. Yeah, the, well, the Eldorado was kind of at the top of the line yeah. and uh, had some special equipment, special style and so forth. It was a truly spectacular car. Now, when you went through those uh, different General Motors models, they would share a similar platform through the Buick, the Olds, the Pontiac, sometimes Cadillac, but the Eldorado, did it have a comparable model in the other uh, brands? Well, I think uh, later on somebody's going to bring an, an Electra Deuce and a quarter oh, Buick, yeah. and that was sort of the same thing in the Buick brand.